Hi everyone, alright, so in the first blog we had a look at how the Revolve works well to create a in-place mass where we can apply a pattern to a surface and then also introduce a pattern based family parametric or adaptive family that can fit that pattern and that we can also drive that design using some other parameter within the project and that's for a truncated cone we can do the same exercise using a loft and the reason I include this is because in 2021 the Revolve actually failed I'm not too sure if that's a 2021 issue or maybe sometimes that there might be an issue with the Revolve but let's have a look at how we can create the extrusion or loft in effect remember when we create the excuse me when we create the component in place or the model in place as a massing component we get the same types of tools that we get within the massing family I'm going to call this loft and how it operates is you basically have to draw some elements and Revit then decides how it will create the mass for you it's not the same as something like Inventor or one of the other programs where you explicitly state that you want to revolve something or loft something you have to either play with the software or look for some inspiration or ask a friend have a few have a look at a few YouTube videos or phone us at Micro Graphics we can try to help you with that and essentially uh, you sketch you make sure that your work plan is set to the, the correct work plan yeah we can go maybe we draw a circle at the base over there I think last time we used 30 meters as a beginning and then we can switch out the level again now we're drawing on level 10 it works if you go to top view like that let's quickly go in, or top uh, view of the 3d view we're going to make that for 40 meters like that right, so it's a very simple thing there's two circles at different heights we could parameterize them right, so if we click on one of the circles and you'll see it's got a radius we can change that into an actual value after which we can select that dimension and label it with some other parameter in this case we can go with the uh, top radius it's a type parameter or it can be an instance parameter whichever you choose all right you can do the same thing to the base as well include that hook it up to a parameter map it onto a parameter base radius also an instance parameters so we can have multiple versions of this model in our project and drive them using an instance parameter and then selecting those two we can just then create the so press control select the one select the other one and then we'll just create that form as a solid form you can see it does that extrusion quite well and that's now a solid form and just like before <coughs> we can select a surface and divide the surface and we can do the same thing as before as well if we go into an elevation or into a section of view we can even use the other levels as intersects if we wanted just press control and add the levels one after the other like that and then you can see it's done the cutting of the shape at the same height as those levels great last thing that we need to do is we can change the the face to choose the adaptive pattern based family instead of just a grid and then we've got this other hemisphere that we can do the same thing with this time we're just going to use a 10 intervals there we can see and it's also allowing you to flip the component to rotate the component if you want so 
very much the same thing as before with the rotation, but actually an easier way to create the truncated cone. And then we can finish the mass. Now the nice thing about parameterizing something within the project, you can just click on an element and then you can use the moves with nearby element. No, the, uh, the, there's the base on the top. Right, so if you want to change the base, now you'll see the entire shape will adapt. Let's wait for it. It's just processing. Okay, so there's actually something within this algorithm which is failing over here. Uh, so maybe it's better than to use the revolve. If you can't drive the shape parametrically in the project, well, you'd have to find some other way to do that. It's not a, at least you've got a separate way in which you can try and, and approximate the, um, the geometry. All right. In the next video, we'll have a look at the components and you can switch them out but only under certain circumstances we'll look at the difference between a modeled in place family and a family that we load into the project until next time enjoy rabbit <laughs>